Right, okay guys, welcome to uh, a sort of a look at a video. <clears throat> now, um, I've done uh, I've done a number of these videos before um, on this particular subject, and that is the uh, arcade gaming sticks, which can be used in a main card, it can be plugged into a PC, an Apple Mac, whatever. Um, now, <coughs> Excuse me, I've still got this horrible stinky cold, so I keep coughing all the time, so I do apologise in advance. Now, I've done a few of these videos, and they do attract quite a bit of attention. Um, I do get a lot of questions about them, asking where you can buy these. So hopefully, the purpose of this video will be to kind of let you see just what they look like, um, how they play and more importantly, where you can buy them. Now, if you're a, an old game uh, lover like myself, um, you've probably heard the meme, you know, various emulators. Now, one of the big things for me, personally, when it comes to playing old style games that can spoil the experience is the lack of a proper controller. You know, yeah, you can play Robotron using um, a gamepad and the buttons or you can play <coughs> you know R-Type using a SNES controller, SNES pad, an Xbox 360 controller I mean when I'm making my uh, doing my sort of gameplay videos I just use a, an Xbox 360 controller because it's easier you know I can use it for all these different things but especially when it comes to <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. When it comes to actual uh, playing arcade games, the controls have to be tight. They've got to be really responsive. The buttons have got to work properly first time. The, you know, it's arcade games are very very twitch games. You've got to have um, the controls need to respond quickly because if you don't, then you die. I mean, if you've ever played an arcade game on your PC, you know, using MAME and then you go to one of these uh, gaming events and uh, play it using proper arcade controls, you'll realise just how, you know, night and day the difference is. The arcade controls were designed specifically for that game um, and they just offer a far, far more responsive and positive experience. Uh, and that's why, you know, I always want to try and get a decent controller. So um, the, the initial controller that I bought years ago was called the X Arcade. Now this thing was about, <coughs> it, it was massive and it was about 150 quid. And uh, yeah, it was good. It was good, you know, I wouldn't, I'm not going to deny it offered a good gaming experience. But the problem was the price and ultimately it ended up breaking down and I, I couldn't get it fixed and I don't, you know what, I don't even know what happened. I think I sold it for parts on eBay, something like that. But then about maybe three, three, four years ago, through social media, I think it must have been Facebook or something, um, my mate John, John Studley, um, now John is one of the best players of Pac-Man, he's achieved the, the perfect Pac-Man score. Um, John, I mean, he's, he's a, an absolute gaming ninja, you know, he can put, he'll get 100,000 on Berserk. Uh, track and field, he is just ridiculous at, I mean, he, he can just, he can play track and field indefinitely, you know, he'll, he'll never lose. Um, 1942, he can complete it, he's just a, he's a gaming ninja, but his forte, is Pac-Man. Um, now he made a post about maybe three, four years ago that uh, <coughs> although he was uh, he had his own Pac-Man arcade uh, cab, he was wanting uh, a controller that he could use to basically play Pac-Man on his home computer just to practice because he was going for the perfect Pac-Man game and he made a mention that uh, this young man by the name of a uh, Mike Hansen had made him a controller and he said that the controls were absolutely sublime. Um, now Pac-Man especially I would imagine because it's it's you know it's it's a four way um, you get two types of kind of well I'm thinking listen to me I don't know you don't get more you don't you do get more than two types but 
most games have eight way controls. You've got up, down, left and right, then you've got the diagonals up, down, left and right as well. So you've got eight way controllers. You've then got stuff like Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, that only have up, down, left and right. Then you also get games like Defender where you've the joystick only moves up and down. So uh, <coughs> Yeah, so for something like Pac-Man, you want the, the, the controls have got to be, they've got to be proper. You know, you don't want to inadvertently push it up left and it doesn't respond. So John uh, got Mike to make him a controller and he said that that, that controller was just amazing. Um, it offered, it, it gave John the tools to practice Pac-Man and then he obviously he went on to uh, achieve the perfect Pac-Man. Game. So anyway, cut a long story short, I got in touch with Mike and uh, asked him, I said, look, I'm, I've been really interested in picking up a, a Robotron controller, you know, we, could you let me know how I go about doing it? So Mike gave me a price and he put one together and uh, I've never looked back. Um, I can't sing Mike's praises highly enough. I've never actually met Mike, I've never even seen him. Um, we communicate through Facebook, but he is such a genuine, nice guy, and all these controllers that I'm about to let you see, he handmades them. Handmades them? He makes them by hand. This cold is obviously, yeah. It's making me go delirious, guys. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to, I'm, I've got four controllers here. Um, Mike has very generously given me, you know, a couple of them. Um, and the other two I have bought and I cannot recommend them highly enough. So anyway, the first one here, which I just received a Tuesday, Wednesday, I think it was, this week. Here we go, I'm going to try and not get in shot. You know, with this GoPro, I can't believe how uh, widescreen it is. <coughs> or the field of vision, because I've got it pointing straight down at the table and I've tried to move all this shite across to the left and it's still in shot so anyway you can ignore my uh, bully bananas and you might even see my snotty hanky anyway so this one here this is a uh, well it's Mike's called it the main uh, controller it's an eight way stick and it's got more buttons than you can shake a stick at um, you know that's perfect for street fighter that's all you'll ever ever need He's got here, now to let you understand, this uses a device, uh, now I think it might be called the iCade, I don't know, um, I'm not an expert, but this basically uses a little device inside, and so when you press a button, that's actually you pressing a key, so that could be the letter C, that could be the letter X, whatever, that's like up, down, left and right, so these are, this is, this is basically a keyboard. And that's why it is 100% compatible with MAME or any other arcade, uh, you know, emulator, um, all your emulators and that kind of stuff. This is basically a, a keyboard. So when it comes to MAME, you obviously press the tab button and then you can just map the controls onto this thing. But the parts that Mike uses are just sublime. They really are now. I mean, I don't know if you can. I'll, I'll I'll stop talking for a few seconds. I mean, it's 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 clicky. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Limey, I'm just as well you can't catch the cold. If you're watching a video because you would all be suffering a big cell. Hey, what? <coughs> Oh, if you don't see another video from me ever again, guys, you'll know I've died. Excuse me. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, it's clicky, but not in the annoying clickiness that I've that I've experienced with other controllers. Um, it's just... It's got a really, really nice feel to it. Now, I did have a shot. I played... Uh, what did I play? I played Berserk. I had one game of Berserk with us earlier on today. And I got just under 10,000. So that was my first go. And I've got to say, the controls, you can hit the diagonals so, so easily. Um, it's just, it's flawless. And the buttons, you'll see here, they're not clicky. 
I'm not a big <coughs> I'm not a big fan of clicky buttons. Yeah, you know, some people like them because it gives a kind of positive uh, feedback that you've pressed the button, but there's nothing, well, me personally, there's nothing more annoying than click, 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 because then it ends up, you can hear it over the game, whereas these, you can just tap them, for stuff like track and field as well. So yeah, Mike's uh, very generous, he's putting here, player one start, so you can have that as a start one. Insert coin, pause, four buttons, you've got menu, start one. You can you can define these exactly how you want them. Um, you know, you can have you can have whatever button you want allocated if you if you so desired you wanted to have that as a fire button, then you can have it as a fire button. You can see that's clicky. Not clicky. Clicky? Not clicky. And yeah, for stuff like track and field or asteroids or you name it, it's perfect. So all of Mike's uh, sticks this size, they all come in the one kind of similar size. Um, he's got a vinyl thing across it, as you can see there. Um, now, the actual, the quality of the artwork is just beautiful. It really, really is. Yeah, there's a bit of shine coming in from that light, actually. But it's it's just, it's so, so high quality. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't, I can't, emphasize how nice these things are they play so well size wise you, know, you can see there it's a it's plastic <coughs> excuse me it's plastic and mike's put little rubber feet in it so it can sit quite happily without moving <coughs> on the table <coughs> this is a bad idea making a video when you've got a cold there's obviously nothing else on this side i mean there's nothing else and there's a nice big long cable and you can see there it's a usb so plug that straight into your raspberry pi whatever you want to do with it in your pc but yeah now i've got to say mike well uh mike's got you know he's got different uh controllers that he makes but if you really wanted a specific controller with you know you wanted street fighter across that or you wanted R type, just ask Mike. He's such a good guy. He'll he'll do a bespoke controller for you. So yeah, this is this is the eight way one that I'm going to use for playing Mame. Um, you can see here. I mean, it's it's <laughs> Rampage, Cubert, uh, Pengo, Starfighter, Bloodstone, Commando, Guardians, blah blah blah. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 so well put together. Yeah, it's really nice. So that is the main controller. That's the standard main one. Next one. <clears throat> now this is only really suitable for a couple of games, but what a controller it is. This is the Defender Stargate controller. Again, it's made exactly the same. Same high quality kind of plastic. You know, it's... You could probably drop that, then you wouldn't damage it. I mean, it's just, it's it's heavy, um, and it's really, really solid. I've never opened up one of these. I've got no interest in op opening them up because all the workings are inside, and I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to break it. Um, but, yeah, I'm sure you could probably open it up quite easily, and if you take off the feet, I'm sure you can unscrew it, but I wouldn't recommend it because it does exactly what it's required to do. So this one here, this is my, uh, this is my Defender um, Stargate controller. Now the difference with this one, <coughs> this has been designed specifically for Defender. If you've ever tried to play Defender, you'll know it is the hardest video game of all time. It is it will absolutely kick your arse stupid. Um, most people would last probably less than a minute trying to play the game. Uh, I'm one of these people, unfortunately, but since I've got this stick, um, my game has improved. I've probably not you know, played it. It's a, it's a frustratingly hard game, and I've probably not played it quite as much as I should, you know, especially given the fact I've got this beautiful controller to use. But... So yeah, you've got for this, you've got reverse, 
you've got hyperspace, you've got invisio, so I think that must be that must be your invisible shield for Stargate, smart bomb, thrust and fire. So I mean it's laid out in such a way, you know, you've just you can access, you've got your thrust, you've got your fire, you've got your reverse, so you can use your thumb for that. And with this one, you've only got up and down. You can't move left and right. So that's a two-way joystick. Um, and the arcade defender, you could only move up and down. So you've got up and down, you've got reverse, and you've got fire, and then obviously you've got your hyperspace and your smart bomb as well. At the top here, you've got menu, you've got start, player start, insert coin. So they're all very similar controls, um, you know, just slight tweaks in each other. But again, you know, it's absolutely beautiful looking. It really, really is. It's just insane how good these are. I've tried a lot of these kind of arcade controllers. Um, I've got arcade controllers for like my Dreamcast, my uh, my Saturn, my Mega Drive. Uh, and I've got to say, you know, Mike's controllers knock these ones out of the park. Um, there's, just, there's no comparison as far as I'm concerned. Next one is, um, this is one of the, the four-way ones. Bring on my screen so I can see. This is Donkey Kong. Now it's got some little stucker, uh, stickers, suckers on the bottom. I've not actually got a table that I can stick it to right enough. But so yeah, this one, Donkey Kong, is a uh, Mike's put in a couple of buttons. I mean, you've got obviously jump. And that's the only button you've got in that. You've got coin and you've got start. Um, this one is four way, so you can't physically move up diagonally you've only got up down left and right and it's it's got a restrictor plate inside which basically stops stops the joystick going up diagonally and that's this is the kind of controller that john would have used for his pac-man this this one will work with pac-man and um, basically any game space invaders galaxian any game at all that only has up down left and right if it's got a diagonal uh, movement in it like Berserk then this controller wouldn't really be appropriate for it but for four way games you know it's it's the dog's bollocks it really is you can see but I'll bring out the other one again um, you can see the, the size difference that's the the full one and then you've got the, the little the small one but you know again for something like Donkey Kong is it Mr. Do? Yeah, I think Mr. Do. Yeah, Mr. Do is definitely four-way. So there's a lot of games. I think in MAME there's actually an option that shows you, not an option, There's a it gives you a description of the game and it tells you if it's eight-way or four-way. So if you wanted to play four-way games and have better precise controls, then something like this is what you're wanting. And again, it's exactly the same. It's, it's I don't know what, it's just a, it's a kind of soft, kind of plastic that Mike uses for these things, but uh, you know, absolutely awesome. I mean, I'm sure you get if you spilt water in that, it would just run off. I wouldn't recommend trying it. Obviously, you don't want any water going inside the thing, but they're just they're put together so well. So that is my Donkey Kong, and the last controller which I've got is. Bear with me a second. Now this was the first one that I that I bought for Mike. <laughs> And this, to me, was the reason I wanted a proper controller because this is my Robotron one. Now, if you've played Robotron, you'll know it requires two joysticks. Playing it with a gamepad and buttons, and it just doesn't cut it. You've really got to be able to get in there with two hands, you know, move, fire. You need to be able to move independently and fire it, you know, a different direction. Again, listen to that. There's no clickiness there. Click. No click. That's the difference. See, when I'm playing a game, I don't want to listen to. I would much rather. You know, these are silent. I think they are, is it gold leaf? Don't quote me on that. I'm absolutely shit when it comes to technical stuff. But I think that's, these are gold leaf buttons. So they're, they're slightly more expensive, but I would 100%, I 
ask Mike to use these if you're interested in buying one of these controllers because it's just they're quiet to use and to me they're more like you know the proper arcade controllers so yeah this was the very first one that Mike made me again you've got your menu you've got your start um one player coin this is specifically for robotron but saying that i can use i've used this um as my kind of go-to controller in main because you know you've got the two most games most the arcade games only have maybe one possibly two buttons yeah this would not be any good for like street fighter for something like street fighter then you would want you know you'd want the eight way i'm sure mike will probably be able to do if you if you'd really really wanted a two-player street fighter it would have to be two of these joysticks and you'd want six buttons and six buttons <coughs> um, i've not seen any of these ones that mike's done but i'm sure he will make them but uh, yeah again this using this is an absolute joy um, it really is i mean i can't emphasize just how how good it is how good using these controllers are you know like i says arcade games is all about the tight controls and you can't get any better than these things uh, and again obviously it's just the the standard usb so anyway listen guys uh, just before i before i can uh, give you a wee demonstration of me setting one of these things up price wise um this bad boy because it's got the two joysticks you're looking about 60 pounds um plus delivery i think it's about six pounds delivery so 60 pounds for one of these now you might think oh bloody hell 60 pounds you pay you pay about the same price for a, a ps4 controller you know what i mean this thing will last you for years i swear it absolutely last you for years you know um this is the price of a game a modern game now you know what i mean um so this one here robotron twin stick would cost you about 60 pounds i'll move them up there the excuse me this one the the standard main one this is about 52 pounds plus delivery okay absolutely total bargain And the fender, <coughs> oops, you can sit there, get off. Yeah, this, this one, the fender is £50. Again, plus delivery. Um, that's that. And one of the small ones, a little uh, four-way Donkey Kong, a big Pac-Man. This will cost you uh, £30 plus delivery. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to stick, um, Mike has got, he's actually just started working, <coughs> started working on a little website. I need to tell you now, Mike does not do this as a full-time job. He's got a full-time job. This is purely a hobby. Um, you know, he makes a bit of extra money out of it. But So yeah, that's them all there. They are indeed a thing of beauty and I am very, very lucky to have these. Absolutely stunning controllers. So you can see there, yeah, they're all that one and I. I noticed that's that's a slightly slightly less angled, but they're all brilliant. Can't rate them enough. So anyway, yeah, what I'll do is Mike said he's kind of been working on a website. It is very much work in progress. Um, I'll put the details. For Mike's website down below along with Mike's Facebook page if you are interested in picking up one of these uh, one of these controllers then head across and uh, get in touch with Mike like I said he's such a nice nice guy um, you know I've I've been playing with these now for about three four years and I cannot recommend them highly enough there's nothing there's nothing else out there that to my mind comes even close so yeah, I'll just uh, I'll just I'll I'll not use all of them, but I'll, uh, I'll 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 show you a little video of me setting up the meme controller. Right, I'm just going to uh, very quickly show you how simple one of Mike's controllers is to set up. Um, I mean, it is simplicity itself. So take the USB plug and plug it into one of your uh, 
one of your free USB sockets. It comes up as like a generic uh, keyboard, I think it is. Let me just try it again. I think because I've already plugged this thing in, it doesn't, I mean, I plug it back in again, it doesn't have to install the driver. Yeah, we're setting up a generic USB joystick. That's what it's called. So, it's doing something. Let's have a wee think about it. What I'll do now is I'll just run MAME. Uh, where's my MAME about? Here it is there. Okay, there you go, so you can see my meme. And so what we want to do is, let's say, uh, I'll go into a different game. Let's say, uh, let's try Terra Cresta. Oh, what's going on there? T-E-R. Terra, there's Terra Cresta there. Right, that's good. So we'll start that. Right, saying there, device is ready. Generic USB joystick is set up and ready to go. Right, now what we want to do here <coughs> is you press tab on the keyboard. Hang on, I'm going to turn that sound down a wee bit. Press tab, and then if you want to input this machine. So, now I've already got this set up, so enter and then press up, like so. Enter, choice it down. So, you can see there. I've already done it, right, like so. Because what you can do is, if you want to just set up a specific machine, you pick input this machine. If you want to set up every game to use this, you go into input general, so that's what I've done. Um, let me just, uh, I'll go into that just to let you see it. So yeah, player one controls, there you go, I've got it all set up, so button one, Go for that one. You see there, it just comes up joy button one. I actually thought it came up as a sort of a key. I mean, it is a key press, but I don't know why it's, it, it recognises it as a joystick button. So you can see there, that's it all set up and ready to go. So let's see if I can put my money where my mouth is and actually have a good game of Terra Crest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on my lap so it's at a more natural angle. So let's say uh, coin. And start. Let's see how this goes. But don't take my uh, crap game playing skills as an indication of the controller because, believe you me, the controllers are awesome. <laughs> what I like about the gold leaf buttons is they're so easy to. Uh, they take very, very little effort to actually press. Bollocks. You don't have to hammer them. You, know, you can touch them very, very lightly. What a difference it makes being able to play arcade games like this with a decent controller. It's, it's honestly like, it's like night and day. <coughs> and the thing is, for most people, we're never going to be lucky enough to own an arcade cabinet. And you've got the next best thing. Because, whilst it might not be a cab, so it might not be a full size cab. You've got a. You've got it, the arcade game running on your PC, and you've got arcade quality controls. So you're basically getting the same arcade cab experience in the house. And to me, that's. Oh, damn it. That is uh, wicked. <laughs> it really is. And Mike's even, he's even got a button called pause, so I can pause the game, like so. I'm going to do as I notice. I think this game I've maybe set up 
input this machine a uh, joystick button to ah right okay there you go I thought so joystick button to hadn't been set up properly so I'm gonna go for a uh, that and then I'm gonna make that that there we go right come back out unpause the game I've had my tea Yeah, I'd previously set up Terra Crest as a sort of a, with its own control, so that's why the, the sort of generic controllers weren't working. Not the generic control, that's why I, I, that's why the, the universal controls weren't working because I'd already set up this one as a sort of a, its own controls, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I'm just using this as an, ex an excuse to play Terra Cresta. <sighs> Bollocks. Right, anyway, listen, that's uh, that's quite enough of me uh, demonstrating my lack of gaming skills at Terra Cresta. <coughs> I hope you've had, uh, found this video informative, guys. Honestly, I can't stress enough, if you're interested and you want to pick up a quality arcade controller for MAME or your Raspberry Pi, whatever, then go and check out Mike's uh, web page. You know, um, I can't say enough about them. Go and check them out. He's a nice guy. He'll do you a good deal. Um, and you know, you can ask for any kind of uh, any kind of like artwork and that kind of stuff. So, anyway, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching.